Hey everyone, it's been an absolutely awesome week and thank God it's Friday. My name is Biodun and I'm bringing you the week's wrap up of infotainment, entertainment, music, fashion, everything and so much more. Stay tuned because Accelerate News starts right now. The twins are coming. I repeat, the twins are coming. Social media was abuzz with rumors this week that Beyonce has delivered the twins. I mean, this is the most anticipated pair since bread and butter was discovered. <laughs> According to E! News, Queen Bey checked into an LA hospital yesterday as she went into labor. Now, SUVs matching the security detail description of Jay-Z and Beyonce were seen living in the home and heading to the hospital. Now nothing has been confirmed yet but the beehive has been buzzing. The funniest thing I saw on social media was that Beyonce had paid the hospital to simulate the entire delivery process just so she knows that everything works well. I mean, <laughs> come on guys. Beyonce is not the only Carter who is winning this week as the Jiggerman Jay-Z himself has just been inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Moshe, bye bye, Benji. <laughs> Even Barack Obama had to give a special shout out and then Jay-Z himself went on to Twitter to give a shout out to all the MCs that have encouraged and inspired him. He ended his long tweet with B. She a rapper too. <laughs> Go home. Stories like this make you have faith in the tenacity of the human race. Group head, brand management, and strategic communications at Access Bank, Amechi Okobi shared a story on his Instagram page of a lady named Stella, who he met at the Katangwa market selling Okrika, while him and a few other Access Bank staff visited the market to talk to people about saving for tomorrow. Now, Stella shared her story about how, through her little business, she was able to send her daughter, Omo, to Covenant University, and now Omo now lives and works in California. We admire her courage, I mean, hard work and everything, and we're so glad that Amechi was able to patronize her by getting an awesome looking tea from the experience as well. Kechi, one of the survivors of the 2005 Sosolito crash, auditioned for America's Got Talent, and social media literally just shut down. She received a lot of support from people all over the world as she wowed the audience with her amazing voice. The talented singer has made it to the next round as she was congratulated on America's Got Talent Instagram page. Now, congratulations, KT. Nigeria is definitely behind you. She is an example of, you know, dedication. Your voice, anything you want to do, stay focused and just get it done. Look at how a sad story has become something really inspiring for her. You go get it, girl. World Boxing Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua will be visiting Nigeria for three days sometime in August this year. The organizer of the tour, director of Peel Ashton Global, Komini Bukhari, explained that the champion will attend a charity boxing match, Inspire Nigeria 2017. He also would be making time to visit the president and some royals, like every celebrity Nigerian who has lived outside the country will always do. <laughs> the tour is a way of giving back to his country and fulfilling his corporate social responsibility. Now we can't wait to receive the Nigerian British boxing champion. In other fight-related news, the date for the anticipated Mayweather vs. McGregor fight has been revealed. Talks of the fight has dragged on for months, but Mayweather came out of retirement just for this one. The UFC president revealed that the fight will take place in the T-Mobile Arena Las Vegas on August 26th. It's scheduled to be a standard boxing fight and will be fought with 10 one's gloves. Tell us your predictions, hit us up on our social media handles. Will this be the 50th win for Mayweather or can he retire in peace before McGregor breaks his winning streak? 
And that's it for today on Accelerate News. Make sure you head on over to our website, AccelerateTV.com, to catch the latest episode of Kemi Adetiba's King, Women, and the Wrap-Up with Tools. And also, a huge shout-out goes out to the five finalists of the Accelerate Film Makeup Project. Adenike and Michael will start filming their movies from next week. That's all I have for you today. I'd see you on Monday. High five, everybody.